You said earlier that before I had tinnitus, my life was, was perfect, and now it's horrible. Mm. Truly, it was perfect? It just feels like um, before I got my tinnitus, I was able to hear everything. I was okay. had no worries. It was like the sun was always shining, and, and um, now I've, it's all dark and noisy and, and uncomfortable and, and worrying and frustrating, I think. And again, <clears throat> remind me, how does the worry about this help you in the long run? It doesn't. It makes it worse. It makes it worse. So... But it's difficult to control. Okay. <laughs> but if your life was perfect, and I think that, that probably... I, I hope your life was perfect, and I hope your life will be perfect again, but I would think that that's probably... I, I don't really know anybody whose life was perfect. But if your life was that good, is there a possibility that your life returns to that level? That is my hope by coming here. <laughs> okay. All right. Visiting you. Okay. If you but. think that your life is horrible, how does that make you feel? Horrible. <laughs> Makes you feel horrible, okay. So again, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it is not necessarily the tinnitus that makes your life horrible. It's that you have the tinnitus, you feel that your life is not worth it mm. or worth or, or is, is capable of getting back to its own place and that's what makes you feel horrible. Mm. Are there any alternative thoughts here that might come into play? Um, if, if I could learn to accept that I have uh, tinnitus, okay. um, then, then, it, then it wouldn't be that horrible all the time, maybe. Okay, okay, that's a possibility. But I haven't been able to, to okay. do that. Okay, so that's far. okay. This is, we're early in the game here. <laughs> and, and, I, and I want to remind you that this is a voyage. Mm. No one comes in and immediately turns off their tinnitus or turns off their feelings. Mm. This is a voyage that's going to have ups and it's going to have downs. And what's important for you to recognize is that there's possibilities here and that your thoughts do, in fact, impact your behaviors, and your emotions. And if there are alternative thoughts that are less negative and that are more based on the evidence, for example, that your tinnitus is not, does not always bother you, that your tinnitus does not appear to be getting worse and staying worse, that it gets worse and then it returns to its baseline. That's where the evidence lies so far in what we're talking about. So it's very important, I think, for you to recognize that it are these thought that these thoughts can, if not be replaced, can sit side by side with other thoughts that are just as possible. Because I think what you might find is that if these other thoughts are identified, over time you will realize that in fact, some of these other thoughts are indeed more valid and more accurate than the negative thoughts or the, the thought errors mm. that you might be having, like overgeneralizing or looking at something from a, an all or nothing perspective, like my life was perfect, now it's horrible. Perfect is all, horrible is nothing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think we want to really kind of get around some of that.